America is a great country. I, you know, there's a lot of wonderful things about America. It is also a country, though, of individual productization. That's been the mantra. So they say you can be anything you want to be, you can do anything you want to do if you're in the US. Which is why the, you know, the, the saying that most people in America and unfortunately the world uses when they try to encourage individual profitization is what Steve Jobs said, stay hungry and stay foolish. That for me though doesn't work here because I think staying hungry and staying foolish somehow means sucking the energy around you and channeling it inwards for your individual profitization. That might work great for the US. This part of the world, this country, like someone recently reminded me, has been a country that's built on collaboration, collective collaboration and collective cooperation. For us, it has been about finding our energy within and spreading it outside. Somehow we seem to have lost that. I, I know I have. So based on that, here are th three things, three, I think, my own spin on staying hungry and staying foolish, but at least I'm not suggesting you all do it, but this is what I'm really trying to do, is one is to be humble. It is incredibly difficult. I am a Hindu, I am a man, and I'm a forward caste. In the totem pole of discrimination in India, I am at the top meaning I am completely privileged, completely privileged in this country in all respects. Humility comes very hard to me because I'm privileged. It doesn't, it's not natural. And this ha I suspect quite a few of you here fall into that same category. You know, there's a lot of different boxes, but somehow in that totem pole, maybe not in this country, somewhere, there are instances when we realize we're privileged. For privileged people, humility is very hard. I'm sure for in, you all realize that in the work that you do, some of the most humble people are the people who have very little. So I'm really, really trying very hard to be humble, which like I said, the only people who remind me and bring me down to earth are my kids. They often remind me and they say things the way that should be said. So my, my request for all of you who work in this field is to be humble. Second, be present. And what do I mean by that? If you're not really committed to the cause that you're working on, I think you shouldn't be working on that. And I shared some of this before. A lot of us think that giving opinions and saying things about a social cause is enough. And that's what we do. I've been doing that for the longest time. Unfortunately, and this is something that I read and I really believe in it, opinion is the lowest form of human intelligence or knowledge. Opinion has no accountability and requires no understanding. Empathy, on the other hand, is the highest form of human intelligence because it means we've got to suspend our ego and live in someone else's world. It is incredibly difficult to have empathy, especially for things that really do not affect you. We work on gender equality. We work on women's issues. I, am, it is, I, I have a lot of opinion on that to transition to a phase where it translates to empathy, for me, is a learning process. I have the will, which is why I continue working on that and focusing on that issue, but it's difficult. So I would urge all of you to find something that you truly empathize with or would like to empathize with, and then work on that. Everyone doesn't have to work on gender inequality. Everyone doesn't have to work on farmers' issues. But the one thing that you decide to work on, you should either have empathy or work towards having empathy. That's my opinion, which, like I said, is easy to give. The third is being kind. That's an easy one, right? That's really easy. Anyone can do it. And I want to end with that. I think in this world, when anyone can be anything they want to be, and this is what I think the message should be for ki to your kids or to anyone else, when, you know, this conversation about what should I be, what do you want to be? I think when you can be anything that you can possibly be in this world, just be kind. That's the easiest thing to do, and everything else falls in place. So it's not staying hungry and staying foolish, which I think is great, works really well in some countries and some communities. I think for me, what I've been trying to do, and I'm not good at any one of these, is, like I said, humility, being present, and being kind.
thank you all and have a wonderful evening.